It's a fall football Saturday here in Middle Georgia. We're in Macon at the home of the Mercer Bears. Five-star stadium, the lone home game for the Bears during their three-game non-conference schedule. Abilene Christian has brought some fans along with them from West Texas. They've got a couple of guys from the state of Georgia on their roster as well. We expect great spirit, a great atmosphere for the students and the fans alike. We're striking up the band for college football presented by Ford here at Five Star Stadium as it's a SoCon Southland Conference battle. Ingalls College Football, Mercer getting ready to go at it against Abilene Christian in a first ever meeting between the schools. And hi friends and welcome back in along with Jared Singleton, Pete Yannity with you. Abilene Christian, a ball club that in three games so far this year, 0-3, but they've shown they can score some points. They've got a first year starting quarterback in Peyton Mansell, an Iowa transfer, who so far has three 200 yard passing games. You know, he is a very dynamic player, Pete. He brings a a lot of different options. Uh, I think that big time experience at Iowa is, is great leadership for this offensive unit. Uh, we should see a lot from him today, and especially with that wide receiving core that he has. Drew Cronick, the head coach of the Mercer Bears in his first season, raved about the playmaking ability of Mansell. We talked with Cronick this week. Yeah, definitely. He makes a lot of plays with his feet. He keeps the feet. He keeps the uh, great vision of the field and makes the right play, makes the right move. Uh, he's he's going to make the right decision and take care of the football, which is critical for this offense. Fourth-year junior Harrison Frost has earned the starting job at quarterback for the Bears in place of the injured Robert Riddle. You don't want to say that a guy is a maintainer, but honestly, that's the best label to put on him. They want him to manage the offense and get the ball to the playmakers around him. Give it to the playmakers, make the right decisions, take care of the football. Uh, don't put the football in a position where it can get turned over. Um, you said it best. He's a game manager, and there's nothing wrong with that. You have to have that, especially when you have a guy like Tyree Devison um, to hand the ball off to each and every play if you need. The Mercer Bears are one of four Southern Conference teams that are playing in the fall. They're trying to bring the conference its first win so far in the autumn months ahead of the conference schedule beginning in February. Frost and company trying to get it done against ACU. We kick it off after this. Devison back in, has a hole, gets the first down. You can see the power that he brings whenever he runs the ball. I mean, that was just old school right up the gut, Pete. Nothing, spe nothing sexy about that. Just handing it off to your bell cow and letting him do what he does best. Great job by that interior offensive line, getting their heads and their, and their feet moving and kind of creating those running lanes so Devin can do what he does best. Abilene Christians allowed 10 red zone touchdowns and 18 trips by opposing offenses oh. this year. Not that time. Balls on the ground and recovered by the Wildcats. Opportune time. We talked about turnovers in the pregame. And Jack Gibbons, the lone returning starter from a year ago, is the man who comes up with it. The Bears, a promising drive ending by putting the ball on the ground. Well, you see great penetration right there to start the play. And then you see right, right looks like someone kind of whiffed on their block. And that allowed a guy to come in unblocked and then a turnover right there, and, and Gibbons doing a great job. Gibbons, again, we said is going to be the leader of this defensive unit to kind of make sure everyone's in their right position. But again, getting that turnover, kind of stopping the drive, fantastic job by this Abilene Christian defensive unit. Jack Gibbons, not only a standout player, one of the brightest players in the Southland Conference. That time, not a whole lot happening on the end around to Kobe Clark. Well, third about medium. How can this Abilene Christian team continue and sustain the drive? Again, both coaches talked all week long about winning third down, how important that is. Wildcats just 26% on third down so far this year, but an opening down the sideline. Room to run. LJ McConnell finally knocked down inside the Bears red zone. McConnell's one of those other backs that really helped Kobe Clark out as far as uh, complimenting him with this offensive unit. Great job by the outside skill players sustaining their block. That's a tough job. That's a tough thing to ask your wide receivers to hold those blocks that long. But when you do it, you get big plays like this from LJ McConnell. With Jared Singleton and Kristen Banks, Pete Hannity with you back at Five Star Stadium here in Macon, Georgia. Abilene Christian out of the timeout. Looking to go for it on fourth down and two from the Mercer nine. And this is the right call, I think. Early on, um, you want to send a message early on that you, you're here for business. And going for it on fourth down early, uh, especially this part of the field, is the right call. And that's the right call for Jeremiah Dobbins. 
Great job by Dobbins being patient, letting the guys up front get to their blocks, create movement, and then having the vision to sneak it back to the left side behind that massive off offensive line to get it into the end zone. Watch, watch here this offensive line just creating movement and that vision to be able, and that patience to just slip out the backside. Great job of finishing the drive, and again, Points off of turnovers is huge. Turnovers are going to be key today, and this this offense right here, um, being able to finish the drive after that turnover, fantastic job, great start. Just a second turnover forced by the Abilene Christian defense. It happened in their defensive end of the field. They turned it into a long scoring drive. Jeremiah Dobbins on the fourth down conversion, picking up his third rushing touchdown of the season. Extra point is good. Please by from going. Abilene Christian trying to bounce back from a heartbreaking overtime loss in the Dallas area last week against Stephen F. Austin. Mercer comes nice off block. that tough defeat up at Army and Johnson room to run when he gets on the corner. He is tough to contain. And you know the reason he's able to get to that corner is because of that great chop block as you see right here in the screen. Watch number five come and just kind of cut that outside leg. That was my favorite block personally when I was playing back at Wofford. Harrison Frost, fourth year junior out of Kennesaw. Inside handoff. Oh! And once again, ball knocked away and will be picked up and returned. A second fumble so far in the early going. That time, beneficiary once again for Abilene Christian. And it's taken by Kadrian Johnson on the recovery. And ACU this time gets it in Mercer territory. A great play initially up the middle, but as you see here, when you have a group of guys swarm to, when you have a defense swarm to the football like that, guys ripping at the football, you work that every Thursday in practice. They do that every Thursday in walkthroughs, working on turnover drills. Guys coming up, one guy holds them up, the other guy that's coming late to the party, his job is to rip at that football. Great job right there by that Abilene defensive unit. And again, creating a turnover. Can this offense turn put points on the board off of that turnover? Two lost fumbles so far for Mercer. They had turned it over six times in their first two games. Oh, and the ball on the ground. Bears say they have it. And it appears that Mercer has indeed forced the first Abilene Christian turnover of the ball game. And a big one at that to get it back, trailing 7-0. Here at Five Star Stadium in Macon, as we get ready for our second quarter with Jared Singleton and Kristen Banks, Pete Hannity back with you here at Mercer. Fumbles, three of them so far, have been a big story in the opening stages of the game. You know, turnovers are a drive killer, Pete, and the thing about it is uh, this Abilene Christian defense has done a fantastic job of forcing two turnovers and getting points off of that, but they also turned the ball over themselves. Great job by these defensive units on both sides, uh, creating turnovers early in this game which have created a lot of energy for both sides. Devison with Johnson behind him. Option left, quarterback keep and room to run. When you're able to kind of create a new line of scrimmage, it makes everything so much harder for this offensive unit. This time Marshall with room and he's in, touchdown. Home folks with something to cheer about. Bears are on the board. I was going to say before that play, with all the shifting they do, you would think they would be a difficult team to defend in the red zone especially. Yeah, but the thing is, Pete, when, when you have a guy like Devzin that you know is such a threat from a power perspective, it creates so many opportunities for guys like that to hit the, hit the outside seams um, as far as being able to create plays on the edge. Don't get confused by all the shifting. Just play your responsibility. Frost. Man in stride and a nice connection. It's going to be well shy, though, the first down marker is Ty James on the receiving end. And, and right here, you see the defense keeping everything in front of them. The defense ran the zone, trying to make sure they don't get beaten deep. It'll be a try of 44 yards. One for two on the season, made a 36-yarder against Army. His career long is 45. That one has the distance, and it's good. And the Bears take their first lead of the game at 10 to 7. Ingalls College football continues here in Macon, Georgia. Mercer up 10-7.
at the break on Abilene Christian as we continue on our Cox halftime report. Opening half, Bears were driving the first time they had the ball, but there's a big turnover. Yeah, you can't have turnovers in the game. Really a drive killer, momentum killer. Uh, but Abilene Christian was able to capitalize off of that turnover. And again, you see another big turnover. Guys coming, gang tackling, stripping the ball out. Fantastic job of, gang, of, of you know, as a unit. And then again, Turnovers just simply kill. Mercer being able to capitalize off of the turnovers of Abilene Christian, and that's really been the, the, the story of the first half. Brandon Marshall's touchdown coming off a fumble, a drive that began in the first quarter, capped off in the second. So far, ACU leads in passing. Look at the rushing difference. Mercer way up in that category as we give you a look at our first half stats presented by Renaissance Bank. Yeah, and the thing also looking at that, those stats, Pete, is third downs. You know, Mercer's been able to, you know, be able to uh, convert on their third downs, continue to work the clock, drive the field, allowing to, and putting together nice drives and utilizing the different weapons that they have. You know, it's not just Devison. It's guys, you know, you, know, you look at the stat sheet, you know, Marshall, Johnson, Davis, they're, they're spreading it around. And, you know, Harrison Frost has done a fantastic job, seven to nine, one long touchdown pass, no sacks and no interceptions. This Mercer offense, is they have all the pieces to have something special this season. We're seeing that in, so far in the first half. And by holding the ball for so long, they really haven't allowed Peyton Mansell and ACU's offense to get into a flow other than that opening drive. Getting ready for our second half here at Mercer Bears are up 10 to 7. So a first and 10 at the 30 yard line. Frost over the middle has a man and Zach Davis the freshman. And the touchdown for the Clover South Carolina native and the Bears move back in front. Great job, great pass pro right there by that offensive line of Mercer creating a nice pocket for Frost and then just again when you have driven the football by running the football very effectively, it opens up a lot of these passing opportunities. And right there we saw with a great opportunity and obviously a six on the board. And Zell 13 of 18 by air so far for 153 yards. Looking to throw again. Nice open and another first down. Boy, it looked like for just a moment LaDerrick Johnson might get a hand on it in the secondary for the Bears, but the drive continues for the Wildcats. Well, when you have a, a superstar like Kobe Clark, what he does is he forces that corner and that safety to have all eyes on him. And because of that, it allows others like this, you know, number 19 getting wide open. A minute to go in our third quarter. This time on the end around, and Wise reading it beautifully as Darius Lewis had nowhere to go. He had nowhere to go because that safety was flying. As soon as he sees that, that jet motion sweep, he takes off as well. And when you see that as a safety, you know that's what they were doing all day. And that'll bring us to the end of quarter number three. 15 minutes to go in the lone home game of the fall for the Mercer Bears. They own a seven-point lead on visiting Abilene Christian, a first-ever meeting between the Bears from the SoCon and the Wildcats from the Southland. We come back with our fourth quarter on Ingalls College Football after this. Third down and short. And a first down for Dobbins, looking to break away. Wise able to trip him up and save a would-be touchdown. Mansell, Clark trying to get in space, but a good job coming across. And Kobe Clark was hit hard that time. And boy, give credit on the stop to Chris Hill. He had a sack earlier, and that time, Hill, the redshirt freshman, coming through with a big hit. You know, it's plays like this. I'm glad I'm sitting in, a bo in the booth talking about the game and not playing it. That was a big blow. You know, the fact that he was able to pop up from that uh, was just amazing. They were 10th in FCS last season nationally in fourth down conversions. They're one for one today. This is a fourth and nine. They can get a first down just inside the two. Mansell. We've seen him run today toward the end zone. Caught touchdown. Who else? Who else? That's your playmaker. He's got to get the ball. And no, no matter what you do, he has got to find a way to get the ball. And that's exactly what Peyton Manziel did. He rolled out the pocket, gave his guy time to get open. He was open initially, but he found that soft spot in the zone and just sat right there. Great connection. Great job. Big PAT right here, though, Pete. I certainly don't want to have that choice here. They'd love to convert on this third down and five. Mansell and there's McConnell. Wise able to pull him down. 17th tackle in the game for Lance Wise. That is a season high for the Bears defense and he builds on his career high. You know, Wise saved the bigger play because this obviously was the first down. Um, but if he doesn't make this tackle, he could have taken this one to the house. Mansell 
On third down, little shovel ahead, and he was able to find his tight end, Ooh. Hohenstein, pulling it down. <laughs> And enough for a first down. This guy looks like Johnny Manziel, I'll tell you, the way he's just, you know, kind of creating his own plays. I mean, he literally almost takes a sack, but makes, you know, just a little flick of the wrist. And then, you know, right here, the ball almost comes out, but he's able to hold on tight to it and get the first down yardage. Bears still have a timeout. Will Abilene Christian get the winner here, or will we see more action? Kick on the way. Has the distance and it's good. And Abilene Christian traveling more than a thousand miles, and it proves to be the final 37 yards for the winner. You see the celebration near midfield. There's a Wildcat down a few yards back toward the goalpost, but Abilene Christian in game number four for them this fall able to come in and break the hearts of the Mercer Bears and their faithful with a 20 to 17 victory on Blair Zapata's second made field goal of the game. Game, Abilene Christian. <laughs> I mean, that was truly a game, a comeback. You know, we said in the opening, this this team um, is, is one that gets stronger as the game goes on and their playmakers made plays when it counted, especially Kobe Clark there at the end. Our play of the game brought to you by Ford. A disappointing conclusion on what was a day of football celebration here at Five Star Stadium. The Bears will cap off the fall portion of their schedule and now get ready for SOCON play to begin in February. They were anxious to play at home. Everybody was anxious to be a part of this home game. And in the end, Abilene Christian rallying in the fourth quarter with 10 unanswered points for a 20 to 17 victory. They improved to one and three on the season, getting ready for their first home game coming up next week out in Texas. Been a pleasure, Jared. And on behalf of Jared Singleton and Kristen Banks, Pete Hannity saying so long from Macon, Georgia.